This place feels so lonely. Their civilization may not be as advanced as ours, but their way of life seems similar. I hope our translators work properly. Huh? That's... No, it can't be. The gods! The gods have come! Free us from this plague! Our prayers have been answered! There's no mistaking it! I saw them with my own eyes! They came to us in their celestial ship! What? What's going on? Celestial ship? Yes. I believe there's a high probability he's referring to the Kalmus. He must have seen us land. And so they think we are gods, huh? We beg of you, O Holy Ones! Please deliver us! I am the elder of the village of Treom. My name is Gimdo. I should have been the one to greet you, but unfortunately, <coughs> in this condition. <laughs> Our literature makes mention of a sickness known as Boculus. It is an ancient and infectious malady that renders the body under stone, as you can see, then in time. Hmm. I'm not detecting any viruses. So we can't determine how it spreads. Please, lend us your divine power. <sighs> it's not just the sickness. Monsters never seen before have begun to run rampant. She has got the uh, creepiest Every voice night, for a little girl. We pray to the great star ocean, fervently begging for salvation. But alas, nah. young lady. Ah, hmm? uh, uh, sorry. Here you go, Grandpa. <sighs> Thank you, as always, Limmel. Sure. Don't forget to water it, Kay. She certainly is a... curious child, isn't she? Please forgive the intrusion. This is my granddaughter, Limmel. Her parents both succumbed to the Boculus. Finished. Grandpa. I finished drawing your amulet, so I'm gonna go north for a little while. Limo, what are you saying? You can't go off on your own! I'll be fine. I'm just gonna go get a symbol and come back and heal everyone, okay? I knew it! Symbology! Those markings are symbological in nature, though they do seem a bit different from our Eldarian symbols. Symbology? That's the strange power you use, right, Face? So... The people on this planet can use symbology, too? Yes. In fact, Limmel is the most adept symbologist in the village. Best in the village? <laughs> Surely you jest. Shatter your bonds and come forth from the gates of purgatory. Cerberus. He's my little doggy. Kay? Was that this girl's <laughs> symbology? Limo, how dare you? No, it's all right. <sighs> anyway, what's she talking about? She's going to get a symbol? To the north lies a citadel called Alanair. An oracle skilled in the symbological arts resides there. If we can but entreat the Oracle to bestow upon us a symbol to cure the Baculus. That's why I said I'm going, Kay. Young lady, I'm telling you, you can't go alone. So, I'd like to beg a favor, if I may. You want us to go with her? What? Would you? Hold on, Edge. Are you serious? We can't just ignore these people, can we? But... Have you forgotten our SRF directives? To investigate planets suitable for colonization and eliminate impediments to said colonization. This Boculus definitely sounds like an impediment to colonization to me. 
Finding a cure for this disease would make a fitting mission for the SRF, don't you think? <sighs> what a nice public face you put on. Public face? Is that a joke? Any captain would make the same decision. It's not a joke at all. You let the real reason slip a second ago. We can't just ignore these people. Isn't that where your heart really is, Edge? In any case, we shall journey to this Alanair Citadel you speak of, and return with the healing symbol. Phase? We are a team, aren't we? And besides, how am I supposed to learn anything from you if I'm left behind here? It's not like I've got any great knowledge to impart. Can we truly make such a request of you, gracious gods? Of course, but I do have a favor I'd like to ask. Please, stop treating us like gods. All right? As you wish. Thank you. I'm Edge Maverick. It's nice to meet you, Limmel. And I'm Remy Sionji. We'll protect you, Limmel, so don't you worry about anything. Lim. Lim? Would you rather we call you Lim? Edgy. Ray Ray. Edgy Ray Edgy. Ray. Edgy 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 Ray.
You know, uh, that's just a theory I have, so. And as you can see, uh, her weapons are wands and uh, her armor is robes, so. Um, I am uh, gonna leave her with the uh, same tactics, at least for right now, so. I might uh, change these things up to have them uh, gang up on uh, certain people later on. And her default beat is uh, B, so. Firebolt and, um, yeah, Firebolt is, uh, her default one. Uh, excuse me, her uh, default one um, that she has, um, as for her actual skills, um, she is the only character to get artistry, um, I don't find this to be a particularly useful skill or whatever. Um, if you buy like a certain kinds of paint and um, and cards to write them on, um, you can actually use them as uh, items and uh, cast symbology with them. Um, again, uh, <coughs> not particularly useful unless. Uh, you find an enemy that's uh, really weak to uh, a certain type of symbology and uh, is pretty strong to uh, actual physical attacks, so... Um... Firebolt, um... This is basically one of the ones that she has as uh, default near battle configuration, so... Um... I would uh, bring this one up to about uh, level 5 here on the uh, planet, so. Uh, same thing with Hatchet Reel. Uh, this is the one that actually summons Cerberus, so. Um, she will uh, actually be using uh, Sibology quite a bit here, so. And nothing for a battle with the elves. She wanted to uh, make sure that uh, she had at least uh, one thing with Firebolt, one thing with Hatchet Rail, so... And, um... I'll use uh, one of my first dates with her, so... Remember, uh, after you use one of these things to, to actually go into uh, your battle configuration and put it on, so. Or else it won't uh, show up, so. It doesn't just uh, show up by default, so. 